Greetings everyone, and welcome to Brick Cats. Today I'm doing something a little different that I wanted to do for a while actually, and I hope it might be useful to you. I'm going to revisit some of the models I've reviewed on my channel that I haven't looked at in a while, and run through my pricing research process again. In the time since I did a deep dive on some of these models, parts availability might have changed, Picker Brick has certainly gotten better, and the parts lists themselves might have changed. I'm hoping this shorter format will be useful to you and easier for me, as full reviews take up a lot of time, and honestly I'm pretty unlikely to go back and do a full review of a model I've already taken a close look at. All that said, definitely let me know what you think of this format in the comments. I'm also very pleased to announce that BrickVault has given me my own unique discount code, CATS15, that any of you can use for 15% off on an order on their website. So be sure to take advantage of that if you're interested. I do receive a small amount of compensation when you use my code. Jarek and BrickVault's Y-Wing Starfighter was one of my first reviews, and it remains one of my favorite models. I reviewed this way back in the dark days of December 2020, so I'm actually very curious to see how things compare in May 2023. This will be for the sand blue and yellow version you see here, but there's also a red and yellow version from Star Wars Rebels that you get when you buy the instructions. Most of my substitutions will apply to that model as well. The substitutions I made for my pricing research were I removed the parts for R5-D4 that are specified individually. I changed out these flat silver screwdrivers for the new bar 2L stop ring. I implemented my solution for the engine support pylons back here by removing the 16L Technic links and substituting them with these shorter sections. I changed the, uh, in general, changed the U-clip parts to the O-clip equivalents, which are a little bit newer. I changed these flower pieces from the 4-petal version to the newer and more common 5-petal version. I changed the color of the spoked wheel from light bluish gray to light gray. I eliminated the tile 1x2 with groove and avionics Star Wars copper red and silver pattern, uh, as that is very expensive, as well as eliminated the tile 1x4 with black silver copper circuitry pattern. Uh, these are in the cockpit here. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know I'm not too big on cockpits, and this one, uh, well, especially that red copper uh, and silver tile in there, it's rather expensive these days, you can do without it. Or you can substitute in any other printed tile that works that, that you already have. And lastly, I changed the two tile round 2x2 with bottom stud holder right here to the plain round 2x2 tile in light bluish gray. So without any substitutions, I got 9 stores and $194 without shipping and tax on BrickLink, and that comes out to about $262 with shipping and tax. With my substitutions and still only using BrickLink, I got 6 stores and $180 without shipping and tax, or about $228 with shipping and tax, so you save about $34. Buying as many elements from Pick a Brick as possible, my results were $164 from LEGO, and there's no shipping and handling charge, they were both waived, but that does include tax. And then the remaining elements from BrickLink, I got 3 stores and $15 without shipping and tax, or about $33 with shipping and tax. And that brought the grand total to $197, which is $65 less than if I had only used BrickLink. These numbers are not significantly different from what they were about two years ago, but as this review is one of the first, uh, and I have a very different way of presenting the information and doing my research, I'm pretty glad my initial results are still more or less the same. This model has aged very well, and like I said, it's still one of my all-time favorites, and I think the Y-Wing is still very much worth considering in 2023. Instructions for the Y-Wing cost $19.99 from BrickVault. There will be a link to the instructions page where you can buy them if you choose. Remember you can use my discount code CATS15 for 15% 15 off, and there's also a Rebel Starfighter pack that I think is the best deal. You get the B-Wing, the A-Wing, the newer X-Wing, and the Y-Wing um, for about $60. Thanks as always for watching my review of, well I guess it's a re-review of Jarek and Brick Vault's Y-Wing. If you built this model you have something to share that I left out or have a question about something I didn't cover, please leave them below in the comments. Remember to leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel, or follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I hope to see you back next time.